हेलो दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ लेसन सिमिलरिटी ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ मैथमेटिक्स पार्ट टू इन प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज द रेशियो ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ टू ट्रायंगल्स प्रॉपर्टी बेस्ड ऑन दैट एंड वी हैव सीन हाउ टू सॉल्व सम्स यूजिंग दैट ओके नाउ यूजिंग द सेम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ रिलेटेड टू रेशियोज ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स we are going to prove very important statement which is called as basic proportionality theorem in short it is called as bpt now what is this statement and this statement is can be asked for a uh, question uh, board exam also or any exam this is one of the important theorem and statement is always given in the question now when the statement is given after reading the question statement how we have to draw the figure how we are going to write the given to prove part and how we are going to prove it whether any construction is required or not that we are going to see now okay now let's read the statement first in the given statement we have that if a line parallel to a side of a triangle intersects remaining sides in two distinct points then the line divides the side in same proportion now there is quite possible that in when you read it first time you may not understand but if you read it in parts then you should can understand it clearly so what is given so if a line parallel to a side of a triangle means what so there is a line and which is parallel to one of the side of the triangle so we have to draw for triangle so we will draw when we draw a uh, figure we can draw a triangle now a triangle need not to be at all it is always acute angle any type of triangle we can draw so we have drawn let's say give the name abc so abc is the triangle and one line is parallel to the side of the triangle now we have three sides ab bc and ac so I, we can draw a line which can be parallel to side ab like this it can be parallel side like this or if it is bc we can draw a parallel line like this okay and if it is to parallel line to parallel to side ac then we can draw lines like this also now but where it intersect what is given more intersects the remaining sides in two distinct points okay so if we are taking this side bc generally we take the base if it is one one line we are taking which is parallel to bc it is intersecting remaining side remaining sides are ab and ac in two distinct point so we cannot draw line which is parallel somewhere outside which is not intersecting ab and ac side which you cannot draw through a also where which will intersect ab and ac at a point a only so we cannot draw like that but we have to draw somewhere between ab and ac say so this this is the line which we are drawing which is parallel to bc we can name it say this as say d and e this names whatever you want to give you can give you can give pq de whatever this okay there is no limitations that you have to give the whatever names given in the textbook only okay so if you are given this de it's like parallel to bc intersecting ab at point d and bc ac at e it means point d is on this ab and e is on this ac after this what happens if this is happening okay so this is the if part starting from here till here it ends here this is the antecedent part of the statement which is given part and the part after there is called as consequence if this is the thing then the line divides the sides now this line is dividing which two sides of course ab and ac how it is dividing as ad and db this is one division and the other side ac is divided as ae and ec so this divides in the same proportion what do we mean by proportion we have come through this word proportion in the topic ratio and proportion when we when the number sign proportion suppose there are four numbers say a b c d these are the four numbers such that the ratio of a and b a upon b and ratio of c and d if this two ratio if we take and if this both the ratios are same then we call it a b c d are in proportion okay so whatever the parts made by this line can name this line l also 
Suppose line L is making parts of a line, segment AB or side AB as AD and DB. So ratio of AD and DB, this ratio and another ratio is what of AC, it is dividing into parts AE and EC. Corresponding is what AE and EC. So these two ratios are equal, means these four things AB, DB, AD, DB, AE and EC are in proportion. So this line divides the side in the same proportion. Okay. So this we have understood that now we have to write this. From here till here we will write this given part and after this we will write it to prove part. So what will be the given? Given should be written with the help of the figure. Okay. So if a line, which line? Line L. Parallel to side of a triangle. Which triangle? ABC. So we can write this in triangle ABC. Line, either you can write DE or you can write like L uh, is parallel to side, which side? BC. Okay. Such that, you can write such that. Now we want to write this between this. D is somewhere between A and B. A dash D dash B. And E is between A and C. A dash E dash C. Now this either you can write L or you can write like line DE also. Any one way you can write. Either name of the line can be DE or L. Okay. So this we have written. So distinct point still here it is our given. Then part it is in proportion. So this will come to prove part. How it will come? This AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC. These four segments, these parts of the sides of the triangle, remaining sides, they are in proportion. Means their ratio of first two and ratio of the next two is same. This we have to prove. Now how to prove this? For this what we have to? We have to think about it. We have to plan our action plan or what? how we are going to prove it. Okay? Then only we can start the proof part. So for this what you have to think? How can we get AD and DB this ratio? How can we get AE and EC this ratio? And then how can we prove it? They are equal. So for this, I will write here this rough work part below this figure first and then we can go for the fair work. Okay. Now to get this AD, uh, what is AD? If you see this is a triangle. Okay. This is triangle where AD is one of the side of triangle AD. Okay. And AD if we side, what can be the height? Height can be the, which is drawn from, perpendicular drawn from E. Say suppose we are, we are having this perpendicular over here. So if this is the base, this is going to be height. Here we get a triangle, but what? Down, down portion is not a triangle. Okay, where the side can be DB. So if it is not a triangle now, presently we here we have a quadrilateral. Here it is triangle, but the down part is a quadrilateral. To get a triangle, we can do a simple thing. If we join E with B, then we can get a triangle with side DB. So as we want DB, and we let's take, pick up the point E because it's the common point with triangle ADE. So ADE, DB, same point if we take. So if we join this DB, E, sorry, EB, we can get this is the triangle number one and this is the triangle number two. Okay, so what we have learned in the previous video about the property of areas of two triangles, how can we use this? Suppose we want to find what is the area of triangle ADE upon the second triangle we got area of triangle uh, DBE. Now as E is the common vertex from which if you have this say perpendicular over here that can be common height for these two triangles. And in that case when the heights are same the ratio of their areas are equal to the ratio of their basics. If this is the common vertex, then this is going to be base 1 and this is going to be base 2. So here we can get this AD upon DB. Okay. And this we can say statement number 1. Of course, the reason is going to be triangles with equal height. Okay. Now here we got that required ratio which is on the left side. 
So how can we get the ratio on the right side? The ratio on the right side is AE upon EC. Okay. Now AE also can be taken as a side of the triangle ADE or base. If we take this as base, then the height will be from this opposite vertex. If this is the base, the height will be somewhere here. Suppose we have a perpendicular, this can be the height. Now, this is a triangle, what, but what about the triangle where the base can be EC? Okay, so here as we have joined this EB, we can join this D with C to get the triangle this one. Okay, let me use some color chalk so you will come to know that first we have taken the these two triangles ADE and DBE. Okay, this is the first pair of triangles we have taken. And for the second time, we have selected same triangle ADE and now we are selecting the another triangle. Say, suppose I number this as number 3, okay, number with uh, outline with the blue. So, DEC, okay. Now, if we take its area, area of triangle ADE and ratio below that, below area of triangle DEC. D, E, C. Now these two triangles are such that they have common vertex, opposite vertex D on A, E as well as E, C. So this height is going to be common height for this and when the two triangles are having common heights, their ratio of their areas are equal to the ratio of their faces, same as this. So where the base is going to be A, E upon E, C. Okay. So this can be statement number 2. Here we have got just two ratios which we want to prove to be equal. Now after getting this, our target is to prove this to be equal. How this right side of this two statement can be equal? If your left sides are equal, then automatically your right side is going to be equal. Now let's check what is given in the left side ratio. Area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle DBE. Here it is area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle DBE. So we can see that these two triangles, so those two, two numerators are not different, they are same. This is triangle. So here we have taken area of triangle number 1 and here we have taken area of triangle number 2. Okay. And here it is area of triangle number 1 and here area of triangle number 3. So you can see that triangle 1 is a common. So naturally this numerator is same. Now it is meant to show just denominator same. If we can show the denominator same, means area of these two triangles, okay. If it is same, then your LH is going to be same. If left side is same, then right side also going to be same. So how can we show these two triangles? Now, again pay attention to that uh, this DEB and DEC, okay. Now these two triangles are having again common base as DE. And what will be the height? If D is the base, then height can be what is opposite vertex is B. Perpendicular drawn from here and here also perpendicular drawn from C. Now these two heights which lie between two parallel lines as B is parallel to BC. We have given it, we have written it the given. These heights are going to be same. Now when the base is same and height is also same, certainly these two areas are going to be same. So area of triangle number 2 can be shown as area of triangle number 3. So when the denominators are same, naturally uh, the left side where the numerator is already same, you can show these two equal and these two are equal. So this is the way we can prove. So this we have to think first and then we can go for writing. Okay. Now here we are seeing that in original figure we were not having this joining of uh, EB and DC, which is something extra we have done, which is written in the under the construction part. So before we start the proof part, we have to write the construction. So here we have done something extra which is not in the given figure. We have to write its join uh, EB and DC. Okay. So after writing this, now once we have chalked our way, our path in which we are going to do, uh, we have to just copy. Now we have to just write it down. So now the proof part, we will start writing. So, now we can write this first statement, okay. So, we will write area of triangle ADE 
upon area of triangle DBE. Okay, is equal to as we have written area upon DB. We have seen already. Okay, now we have this part over here. Okay, I am going to keep this part just to refer that my rough work part to write of it. Now this can be statement number one, and the reason is going to be triangles with equal height. Triangles with equal height. Similarly, area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle here it is DEC. Or you can just copy this DEC because we have written properly over there. It is what AE upon EC. Statement number two. Reason is same. Okay. Now here we need to show these two areas are equal. Now area of triangle DBE is equal to area of triangle DEC. Statement number three. What is it? Triangles with common base. And height. Its base is common as well as height is common. So from this statement number 1, 2, 3. What we can write. Now let me write rough this rough part. Now we have got this. So from these three statements. That here it is ADE upon DB. And this we have shown this denominator part equal. So we can say that. Therefore area of triangle ADE. Divided by area of triangle. We are going to show these two left sides are equal. From step number 1, 2 and 3. Area of triangle DBE is equal to area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle this DEC. Reason is from 1, 2 and 3. From statement number 3 statement. And let's give the statement number 4. Let's say this is statement number 4. Now, here if the left sides are equal, we have to write the right sides of the, this statement number 1 and 2 also equal. We have shown that LHS of 1 and 2 are equal. Therefore, RHS are also equal. So now from 1, 2 and this 4th statement, we can write, therefore, AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC. Here the LH is equal we have shown. Here we are showing the RH is equal. And this we have to write from 1, 2 and 4. Okay. 1 and 2 are RHS of this statement 1 and 2. And here we are showing left side equal. So here we have proved the required thing. Whatever it is to prove part. And hence your answer statement is going to be. Hence, given statement is proved or hence the statement is proved. Is, hence the statement is proved. This you have to write in short, at least in short. Okay. So, in this way, you can prove the very much important, very much means very, very, very much important statement, basic proportionality theorem of lesson similarity in this way you have to prove. So whenever you prove you have to first think, chalk out and then you have to write. If you understand this well please give me likes and comments and if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe the channel. Thank you.